Hey guys, Dale from RFN Studios here with a new video, a new series actually. We're calling it Metal Guitar for Dummies, like me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach some uh, basics that I've learned uh, and I'd like to pass on to some other people. Maybe it'll help some people get rolling uh, with metal guitar. So I'm going to show a simple riff and then I'm going to break it down and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, so we've got our metal guitar and let's go over a few basics here real quick. What tuning are we in? I'm in a drop tuning because that's what you do in metal. Not always, but that's what I prefer to play in. Uh, it's going to enable us to do bar chords and I just like having the, the lower string and the lower notes. Um, so I'm in drop C, that's C, G, C, F, A, D. I'll put it on the screen. Uh, if you want to tune to the same tuning that I'm in, you can play along. Any drop tuning would work though. Another thing I want to mention is if you're tuning to a lower tuning like this, you may want to go with a heavier gauge string. Um, and it's going to sound much better if you go with a lighter string in this low a tuning uh, you don't get the beef factor and I'll explain the beef factor later so let's dig into the riff I'm going to show you here and then we'll break it down and go from there <laughs> So there it is. Simple riff. Let's dig into it. So if you notice, I'm down picking the whole riff. And when I'm doing that, I'm muting these bottom four strings. I'm muting with my left hand. So first note is just open on the top two strings. And I'm muting the bottom four strings with my left hand. Second part of the riff is the beef. So what's going on there? All right, let's check this out here. So we're just doing some palm muting, okay? And uh, there's a couple factors involved here with how this is gonna sound for you. Uh, let's go, the first one would be the palm placement, okay? No palm, no palm mute, open, right? Get the palm mute, we're gonna lay our palm on uh, above the bridge, it kinda depends on the guitar and you'll get a different sound. So let's check this out here. I'm down picking the top two strings on this part. Let's move our hand forward a little. Ooh, different sound there. Let's go a little bit more. Ooh, getting a little dead. All right, let's back it back down here to the juicy spot. Well, let's go back a little farther towards the bridge. It's going to open it up more. Okay, so you know what's going on here with the right hand. Let's go back to the riff. Okay, what's that note there? So that's just a bar chord. I'm using one finger. And I'm picking the top three notes there. Or I'm sorry, the top three strings. Those are the bar chords I was talking about earlier. So let's find this again. There's our first bar chord, so it's a three. One, two, three. three. There's the second part. So it's the same pattern, just moving up to the fifth fret. I'm hitting 
these bar chords, I'm lifting my hand completely off to get that open. is real simple it's just two bar chords eight seven and you're just going to strum each of those and notice i'm still muting the bottom four strings because if you don't here's what you get nobody wants that simple riff so i hope you guys enjoyed it hope you learned something like and subscribe and uh please hit that notification button because uh jc's coming back to do more reaction videos everybody likes them <laughs>